Good evening, one and all. Huh? Are you recording already? Yes. What did you like? Never mind. Is it something fun and interesting? No, it's gossip. Ooh, tell me. I'll turn it off. Okay, we're back. After that little bit of gossip, we are back in bees knees hey guys and um, welcome back to my youtube channel um so today is just a quick one um it's just a quick video i know i said my next video is probably gonna be about boundaries and i have actually just recorded that but um i might put that out on thursday instead it's basically i've been having a shit couple of days um and i've been like getting really anxious and really sad and i've been crying loads and i don't even cry and um today i cried on my best friend and she never sees me cry <laughs> that tells you a lot about me dealing with my emotions anyway um so today i was proper on her shoulder <laughs> i was doing one of those weeps it was, yeah um so yeah i'm feeling a bit blah, 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 fluttered and uh, i was just feeling really shit and uh it's just a video of kind of how I got myself out of the shitty situation because I think um, out of all the people I know, I think I'm probably the most difficult. Actually, no, I think my MCM is the most difficult. That man still hasn't messaged me about fucking Trump. Anyway. <laughs> Why am I like this? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm probably one of the most difficult people I know and it is difficult sometimes for me to talk myself out of moods I'm in or kind of funks I'm in, but I'm gonna make a video on how to talk yourself out of the funk. So, um, I've kind of been feeling really anxious about my life and just the progress of it and just where I'm going and not having things organized and just feeling like a bit overwhelmed. Actually, do you want me to even tell you why I've got anxiety? I violated myself this week. Um, I went to go see someone who wasn't ready to see me and like by in terms of wasn't ready to see me it's like I know that this person isn't in the right frame of mind to have a real progressive conversation with me and I still went to go see them I think out of probably an ego situation and feeling like I can fix things all the time and I got slapped with the reality of you can't change people and it's shaken me up like I feel ugh, stressed about it because I'm thinking about relying on other people to fix shit and it's stressful and ugh, again I think it comes down to stuff like understanding that you're just in control of your own life and not in control of other people and sometimes you actually have to let shit go <sighs> Sad. and I think one of the key things that really helped me kind of get over that is actually facing what I'm going through or, or what I need to face so a lot of the time we have like tasks that we need to do that are at the back of our mind and we know that if we do them things will get better but it's a bit difficult to kind of approach the task um so instead of avoiding tasks that you know need to get done uh, i think it's very important to just face on just face the goliath it will be fine like it will be okay and once you're again you have a better understanding of what you're facing it's easier to then find another solution the next solution and 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 the next, and the next solution <laughs> and move forward from there um another thing that helped me as i said i cried on my best friend's boobies she got great boobs nice to cry on and as i said i never cry um to her and I think I was feeling really, really shit for like t two whole days. And for me, when I feel shit, my mood affects other people and they can tell when I'm in a shitty mood. And because I'm such a ray of sunshine, um, it does affect people sometimes when my moods are off, especially because they are very intense moods. And I felt so shit 
feeling like I was making my bestie feel any type of way or feel uncomfortable or awkward. And then because of that, I cried to her. I was like, I can't even hold it in. I was like, I feel shit. Like, I feel shit. I feel like, fucking you feel shit. I'm thinking like, everything's shit. And then um, I started crying to her and she was literally like, babe, it's okay to feel sad. Like, you don't always have to be like, okay. Uh, another thing I did is make a small gratitude list. Um, so that's just making a list of things you're grateful for. And it can be the most simple thing. So for me, I woke up this morning, I'm still actually alive and nothing's happened to me at night. I'm still kicking, still in this beach. Although I'm not really enjoying it sometimes, but I have potential. As long as I'm living, there's potential for me to make my life better. So I'm grateful for that. Um, uh, me and my bestie made the best lamb chop dinner today. It was, it wasn't even lamb, it was fucking pork. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a pic. So tasty. Yeah. Um, and then what else am I grateful for? The weather was quite nice today actually in comparison to the rest of the week. So today's Saturday and the weather has been shited the whole week and today it was actually quite sunny. It was dribbling, dri dribbling? drizzling a bit, but it was quite nice. Um, and also today I saw someone I haven't seen in ages and I really, really miss them and it was lovely to see them. And um, yeah. So that helps me feel better about life because sometimes I feel like I'm in a shit mood and then um, my shit mood will just carry on. And because I'm in a shit mood and shit mindset, everything is shit and it's shit, 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 shit. And yeah, so that's the way that I help see things as not shit anymore. Um, and then what else did I um, Oh, actually I gave um, a homeless man some money today. But I always give homeless people money I for some like I couldn't find the five pound that I wanted to give to him and I was searching my purse and I was like oh fuck I'm just gonna give up but then I remembered where I put it and then I found it and I went back and I gave it to him and he gave me this cute little love heart um it was like a little silver love heart and that actually made me very very happy it was very weird and I was just like you know as much as life is shit and people are in shit situations if people or in shit situations can try and make you feel happy about your life, then what do you really have to be sad about? And yeah, that's that really. <laughs> I just wanted to make a video on that quickly. Cause I, I think as well, I'm gonna be really honest about my mental state. Cause I actually, I still go through emotions. Like I think mental health is something that like it's never really, your mental health is always as important as your normal health. And it's like your day-to-day -day health changes the same your day-to-day -day mental health changes. And as much as I'm very much stable, um, I still do have bad days and I still do have sad days and I still do have like not great days. And I feel like it's important for me to address those as well. Cause I am very happy, happy, ooh, fun agenda. <laughs> But, you know, sometimes I, I'm finna be real with y'all. I'm be waiting for people out the door. Because, yo. And yo. But anyway, uh, yeah. Ew, I can feel my neck bones, like. Ew! Ew! That is weird. I don't like that. Um, but anyway, it was nice seeing you guys. Tune in next time for the boundaries video. And that's coming out. I need to, do you know why I'm putting this video out first actually? It's because my boundaries video is a bit rambly and I need to kind of focus on what the shag I'm talking about. Am I going to put the story time in there? I'm going to not like... Oh, this YouTube thing is actually very long and anyone that knows me knows I'm a motherfucking grandma. I just know how to knit and I just know how to 
do basic stuff on the internet like that's it i just know how to google search copy paste like i can make stuff but it's really a struggle for me like i made all the i do all the editing and like the graphics and stuff for my youtube but that's like bare minimum i'm fucking struggling mate fucking did an engineering degree can't fucking do like fucking science like this technology shit is fucking hard I don't know what's going on mate like even today, what even happened with the camera? Oh yeah, it was on fucking picture mode. I was crying to Andrew, I was like, it's broken. <sighs> Over it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just have to edit that properly and I might actually re-record that, but I don't know. Um, anyway, it was nice speaking to myself, i.e. you guys. And um, yeah, I'm always gonna be in like pajama clothes or like weird clothes, but like jewelry. Tune in next time for me. More of me. Hee <laughs> hee. I still have such bad anxiety right now. Guys, I'm actually going to make a YouTube video on the effects of anxiety. So for me, because I've actually, like, a lot of people suffer from anxiety. I actually suffered from anxiety when I was really, really young and I didn't actually know it was anxiety. <laughs> It's only when I'm, I suffer, blah, 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 I started suffering from severe anxiety that I knew that, oh shit, this feeling, I've felt this feeling before, but in a less, lesser version, and this is what anxiety is. I'm going to make a, a video on the physical effects of anxiety, because I think a lot of people don't actually know them, and because I went through it really, like, my, like, it was severe, had general anxiety disorder, like, a proper anxiety and that, um... I know quite a few of the physical effects and I think some people don't actually relate the physical symptoms to what the, ang the, the anxiety they're going through um so oh I want to kind of make like an info video um so that people are a bit more aware of what the effects of anxiety can do to your actual body um so you can really highlight that and try and do certain things to help yourself feel calmer and feel less fight or flight and feel happier and more relaxed um, because really anxiety is it's, it's kind of having an imminent fear of something and it's like being on edge about the, f the honesty is the f about the future and again that's probably what's causing I'm just thinking about the future and my future relationship with this person and I'm focused too much on the future and not on the now and that's what's giving me anxiety I'm thinking too much but you need to like things take time there's a process there's so yeah and try not to work yourself up about the decisions other people make because they're not your decisions even though sometimes you will have to deal with the consequences of it um it's good to know that you're in control of you and yeah and you're in control of what you do <sighs> anyway it was lovely speaking on the cam and I will leave everyone to it because I'm in a mood still. <laughs> but I really enjoy making YouTube videos, but I'm still in a mood. I can't lie. So I want to say bye. Bye, holes. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Have a good, have a good week. By the way, don't be stressed. Don't get stressed like me. Don't try not to do it. It's a bit techie a bit techie yeah and if you are feeling anxious please go make yourself some chamomile tea and just sit and mm, make a mini gratitude list in your head and make a i've achieved this in your head list as well and be like yay i've achieved this i've done this i'm real and just big up yourself goodbye you are the weakest link goodbye